Hey, get your old stale gum right here. I'm Rick Becker. This strikingly attractive young gentleman next to me is Brian McCartan, and we like to call this show Old Stale Gum. We go through old packs of baseball cards, and we just geek out like 40-something-year-old men are supposed to do on the internet. So <laughs> let's do it. Let's crack something old school, maybe a Tops or a Donruss or something like that. So I'll give you – I have two Tops packs here, and I'll let you pick which one you want to go with here. We've got 89 Tops and 91 Tops. Two oh. great years, two great iconic baseball cards is 89 and 91. Brian, we have to do both of these packs. All right. Let's start on 89. <laughs> Let's start earlier. Yep. Yeah, let's start earlier and then go up here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Rub that down. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. Oh, still in the pack with the old still gun. Love it. Nothing like my dentist says I'm not allowed to eat the, uh, the gum anymore, guys. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> My dental plan premiums are too high for me to be out here uh, eating that gum is, from the that. 80s. All right. From the uh, great California Angels, Mr. Burt Blylevin, right out of the gate. Oh, that is a good card to pull right, right, out, of, right out of the gate with a great card and a great oh, ball. I love player. it. The picture. That this is, this is 1991. So this is the 19 about the 90 season, right? Right. Look at the credentials on the back of this card. I am so happy that this guy eventually got the credit he deserved and got into the hall. He is like just low key. One of the best pitchers to ever do it. One of the best exports Holland ever had. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I think the fact that he played for so many different teams is part of what affected that where it took him such a long time to get the recognition so for all of you who do your immaculate grids i mean we have the twins the rangers the pirates cleveland yeah unbelievable angels this was actually his last season 1992 yeah. was his last season in 1991 he did not play because he was injured so 89 90 91 and 92 were with california man that is look at those mutton chops i mean look at him he looks like a 1920s ball player there good for hall of famer burp live right out of the gate love it uh we got a good pack here man we got a great pack here he is mr chris sabo with the goggles chris we're... sabo this is his i think is this his rookie card no it's not his rookie card he um this was the year they won the world series 1990 right yeah because 91 if this is the 91 pack yeah yeah this was world series winning chris sabo who had you know he was good contact hitter for that team i remember that 1990 he had 25 bombs and then he followed it up that season 91 with 26 bombs that's crazy. It wouldn't even give you 26. Three-time All-Star. Three-time All-Star. Rookie of the Year. But he only played nine seasons. Yeah. He had a shortened career. It was the goggles. It had to be the goggles. Go figure. <laughs> Here he is, Frank Viola. All-Star with the Mets. Oh, this is a really good pack. Yeah. Frank Viola, great years with the Twins. Had the, the twilight of his career with the Mets, like most people do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Randy Milligan, the Orioles, another scrub. But look at that jersey, though. Yeah. Love that. Love those action shots. I love this 40. It's the 40th anniversary, right? Yeah, the 40th anniversary of, of baseball. 40 years of baseball. Well, it's tops. 40 years of tops. Yeah, the tops 40 yeah. years of baseball. Yeah. That is, um, those are some good looking cards. Like This was my favorite set. So if you asked me, you had to give me like a desert island, this was my favorite set is Jeff Reed, but look at that act that spring training. Hey, we got to take your picture for your baseball card shot. Right. It's like his class <laughs> picture. That was Phil before we knew about selfies and stuff. So you knew yeah. the angles to take. Right. Yeah. Phil plant Phil here. Plant here. That card. guy was like one of the first utility guy, like super utility guys. I feel like he played everywhere. 
Yeah, he said he was signed in the 11th round selection of the Red Sox by Scout Ray Boone. Go figure. That's all the facts they had to put on the back of his card was where he was drafted. This is all-star Bob Welch. That's a nice one. Yeah. Nice little Bob all-star. Welch had an all-star. Good for him. Yeah, go figure. Yeah, we're, getting to the scrubs <laughs> at the, we're getting to the scrubs at the back. Here's Mr. Bill Duran looking like he just saw some <laughs> looking like a deer in the headlights look. <laughs> with the with the practice with the batting jacket on and the uh, hey, baseball card. <laughs> yeah. Here is the uh, here is John Fitzgerald's favorite ball player of all time, Mr. Wally Backman. Oh, uh, Wally Backman with the Pirates. With the Pirates, yeah. Highly recommend looking up playing for peanuts if you haven't seen it. And... Yes, the show playing for peanuts. Look that up. John Fitzgerald did a great job with that. Um, very cool. Uh, highly recommend it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Dave LaPointe, another terrible Yankee pitcher. In those terrible years that we had. Another guy who looks like he's at least 54 in that picture. And <laughs> Hey, when you're a lefty, man. Yeah, you, get all, you, you can play for as long as you want. Yeah, they just... Uh, uh... Rene Gonzalez, another generic baseball card. Kevin Apier... Oh, the Royals with the with the rated rookie. You know, I love the tops. He was one of those guys they thought was going to be better than. I remember as a kid, if you opened up the pack that had the little trophy at the bottom, you know, the 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 tops rated all star rookie, you thought you had something gold there. You protected that one, Mister Chuck Finley. I do have to say this for a second though. I am shocked as I pulled up Kevin Apier. I, I remember Kevin Apier being a pretty solid ball player. But I could be misremembering that. Now, did they have him there as a – what what position is that? I have him here as a pitcher. Okay. It didn't look like a pitcher in the – Yeah, it looks like he's just fielding a ground ball. But, I mean, he was 12-8. and eight. You know, it looks like he was 12-8, and eight, 276 ERA for his rookie year. Kevin Apier has a career war – of 54.5 that dude had a career yeah it wasn't bad 16 years so he compiled a little bit but yeah not uh, a bad card to pull okay who who did you get there oh yeah chuck finley you not know played a bunch. Player. yeah nice mullet best hair in the pack definitely for sure that, that's some good hair uh we got the oh in, tops instant win <laughs> So if you guys want to send a self-addressed stamped envelope to uh, whatever that address is on the back there, you can win the sweepstakes. You can get season tickets to the 92 season, I think, we used to be the uh, prize, remember? What I think is really funny as we go through these packs is remembering how many cards used to be in a pack. Yeah, so... Now you get a pack and it's like eight cards. I have a bunch here, and, and some of them have like 30 cards, and some of them have like 12 cards. So those like score pinnacles or those diamond clubs or the upper decks always had like eight cards 12 cards but the other ones you know you always got a bunch of cards out of them is david Cohn. oh nice nice with pull. the mets nice pull coney was a coney was a great player love everything about him and here's the gum stained dennis rasmussen card <laughs> with the gum stain on the back oh and is... those brown padres jerseys oh yeah i yeah. loved those oh can't go wrong with that one. So that's that's uh. A, what should that's our a, colors be? How about brown and orange? Love sounds it. great. Sounds like a great idea. Then so that's that's ninety one, and uh, let's knock out eighty nine right here. This oh is the yeah. Top, here's the tops eighty nine iconic pack. Just stick. You could see it already sitting in the in the in the box. You know, with all the other ones in it. Let's yeah, that's. This is when I was doing it. This was my wheelhouse right here. Oh man. Here's some uh, thirty-year-old old gum. Old still thirty-year-old gum there. Let's see what we got here. I gotta. This is all. Huh. Rick. Rick, come on. Right out of the gate. What a beautiful card. Oh, uh, look at that. Look at Wade. Right out of the gate. He looks great, doesn't he? That is fantastic. That All-Star Wade Boggs card. My favorite player of all time. Brian likes him to a 96 Yankees World Series champion. See him riding on the back of a horse right now. There he is. Oh, wait. I'm about to hit 360 or something like that. 88 AL leader in doubles. 45 doubles 
45 doubles. 88, I think, was one of those years that he should have been the MVP. He deserved two MVPs, and I think it was 87 and 88 where he was just... Didn't he have a good year, like 91 too? 90 or 91? Yeah, I mean, he had a good one in 91. 92 was his drop-off. He, he had, like, the one bad year in 92. But yeah, he ended up, They ended up with the Yankees after that, didn't he? Yeah. and they, then thought he, it was, they thought it was the end of Wade Boggs, so they shipped him off to New York, and he ended up having a resurgence. Scott Cooper. Scott Cooper was the oh, guy wow. that they thought was going to replace Wade Boggs. One year later, he went to the Cardinals. Baseball but he like. just, um, like, you just look at, at these numbers for 88. 366, 476 on base percentage, 490 slugging for a guy who did not slug. <laughs> like, oh, that's crazy. Let's see what else we got. 25 walks to lead the league. If he played now, he would be so much more respected than he was 100%. back then. He deserves it. He deserves all the respect he can get. Look at that guy. Oh, Dan Quisenberry. <laughs> I think we have an early mustache winner here. Let me tell I don't care who else comes after in this pack. Nobody is beating that mustache. I mean, that is just tremendous. Tremendous. You've got to give Dan Quisenberry credit for winning a mustache battle against Wade Boggs. Yeah. Nobody's <laughs> beating that one. And this was Dan Quin Dan Quisenberry in the end of his career, too. You know, this was towards the end. But look at that. Look at that service record on the back there. That's a lot of that's a lot yeah. of small print. They had to fit that. Yeah, they had to <laughs> shrink the font on that one. Kelly Downs with the most confusing background to a to a card. Yeah, I guess they, that's a uh, bullpen, I would imagine. It's that corrugated plastic uh, background they gave him. <laughs> Here's your generic baseball card pack. Ken Williams, not a bad mustache either, Mr. Williams. I hate mustache. those White Sox jerseys. Oh, the one with the with the bat guy, like the swinging bat, like the look like the NBA logo. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind that logo, but the blue and red, like they're just. The black and white is so iconic. Just do the that. White Sox. The White Sox would throw anything at a fence to try and make it work. They would throw everything there, you know, shorts, just, <laughs> yeah, shorts and everything. Here's uh, Luis Medina. Those Indians jerseys, miss those. I'll tell you that much. Oh, look at this! Right at it. Look at Julio Franco, man. <laughs> oh. Look at Julio Franco, who went on to play for like forty-five more years after this. Yeah, man. Franco ended up with you know, playing at the playing with the Mets in like 09 or 2010. He was still playing. I think he signed with somebody down the stretch in 23 here. <laughs> That's not surprising. <laughs> Yankees could take, I take him right now. Believe me. <laughs> Bruce Hurst again, which I think this is the second time we pulled Bruce Hurst today, but yeah. just j j again, my elbow hurts. That's what he's saying right there. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> He, he pitched so much that his non-throwing elbow hurts now. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he's about to deliver the news. Like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he exactly. that news anchor face. Like And off to Bruce Hurst with sports. <laughs> right. This is Devon White. Loved Devon White, man. Look at that smile, man. That is a guy who is happy to play some ball right there. Devon White was a good ball player, man. He had good years. Mesa, Arizona. Go figure. Oh, where is he from? Jamaica. Kingston, Jamaica. Go figure. But look at that smile. He'd go on to be on those good um, Angels teams. Yeah, well, he was on the Angels here too, but he had good years. No, he was on the the good uh, Blue Jays teams, right? Oh yeah, maybe that makes that would 92, 93 Blue Jays. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Oh, contest card. Let's see what we're winning today. But look at that sweatshirt that you could buy from Tops. Thank goodness. I mean, that is fashionable. Every every sweatshirt in 1989 looked like that can we talk about how the only size options was going up to an xl how dare you <laughs> how dare you yeah and so if any of you guys are interested uh self-addressed stamped envelope to a uh, fever baseball i was nine years old well i was eight years old when it came out so yeah i was probably about six two <laughs> 15 by that point no <laughs> i went right through that xl real quick let me tell yeah. you <laughs> Here's Mike Moore. Look at that. Another shot. They had to find a picture for this guy for the uh, Players Association. Like, listen, we need a baseball card shot. And they just found some snipe shot from him in the dugout eating sunflower That's seeds. one of those haircuts where he went to the barber and he said, just cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right out of it. Perfect. There's Schmitty. Oh, my God. You got, in this pack, 
we got arguably the two best third basemen of all time. Wade and, and Schmidt, yeah. Look at the and this is the end, you know, this is towards the end of Schmidt. Look at the years of service on the back of that card. Yeah. Well, he ended that year, right? That was the year that like halfway through he's just like, I'm done. You know, he played 108 games. Uh yeah, it's like 108 games in ninety and ninety and sorry, eighty eight. So he was probably right at the end. I think he played like maybe two or three more years, I think. No, he played forty two games in nineteen eighty nine and called it quits. Really? Wow. He was hitting two oh three with a six sixty eight OPS and was just like, Nope, I don't have it anymore and just called it quits mid season. Rather than stick it out for a whole season. Yeah, but that guy, man. The best. The best. He was he was the you know, we're talking about Wade Boggs and we're talking about Schmidt. Recently, we lost the great Brooks Robinson. But yeah. when you think about those guys, like third base was like this throwaway position for so long. And then all of a sudden you had Schmidt and, yeah. and Boggs and Ro- I mean, Robinson eventually- a little bit before them. And then that morphed into getting guys like a rod and you forget Cal Ripken jr. You forget right. that Cal Ripken jr. Moved oh. over from short Adrian Beltre. Like yeah. base now is a serious position. And it was because of guys like Schmidt Boggs, Robinson, Brett, right. like they were like, no, I want to get production out of this position. Let's see what else we got a couple more in here. Dave Anderson, generic baseball guy. Yep. There you go. We'll put that in the pile of generic baseball guys. There's a lot of those today. Mr. Charlie Huff, the knuckler. Yeah. Look at – you want to talk about – you talk about yours. And he played for a little bit after this too. Look at that. He was on the – uh the Marlins. Yep. He pitched opening day for the Marlins organization. He was also the guy who gave up – was it 7-15? Oh, to, to Hank? Yeah. To Hank. Hank. And I think he gave up one of those um, playing for the Dodgers. He gave up one of those four home runs in a game to Reggie, too. Hold on. I want to make sure about that. Hank. Charlie Huff. Um, yeah. He gave up the 716th home run. 716? Yeah. So that was a pretty, that's pretty. Yeah, but he also, that that's what I always look, remember watching the highlights of Reggie hitting the home runs in the, in the 78 series. And I think yeah. Charlie Huff gave up one of them. A floating knuckler to Reggie Jackson didn't even stop That's him. amazing that he played that long. Like, if you think about the fact that he was pitching to Hank Aaron and he pitched for the Marlins. Yeah, he pitched to <laughs> Hank Aaron and, and, you know, and probably everybody else for the National League in 91, right? Yeah. Man. It's Tim Belcher. Another one of those uh, those all star rookie cards, those the tops crown that would you know, the oh, trophy would end up a little better than he really turned out being, but had a yeah. decent career, I think. Bobby Meacham, another great Yankee shot. Look at those pinstripes. Look at how yeah. small his bat is. <laughs> yeah, really. What are you gonna hit with that bat? <laughs> yeah, a lot of eye black for a guy who's. Uh, what did he hit that? Let's see what he hit that year. What did he get? Oh, a lot of eye black for a guy hitting two seventeen. Let me tell you. <laughs> Last card in the pack, gum stand on the back, Boomer, is David Wells. Oh, uh, that's – David Wells is the guy that you want the gum stain on the back of his card. Yeah, Boomer I'm is something else. I'm glad it wasn't Schmidt. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that I pulled – that's actually a nice – I'm going to put that one to the side too. I got some pretty nice ones today. But yeah, the uh, highlights of the pack, definitely right here. Where do they go? Where do all the cards go? Oh, there they are. These are the highlights right here. Oh, yeah. And- Dan Quisenberry with mustache uh, with the mustache. Yeah, sure. everybody is the best mustaches ever, man. Though I will tell you, you have to, it's kind of a toss up here as far as mustaches go because Wellesie is a pretty nice one too. Yeah, Wells is bringing the short around the corners here, yeah, while yeah, Quisenberry's yeah. going for whip. This definitely the so definitely the highlights of these two, Schmitty and Bogsy. American League and National League third base third baseman right there. That was the All Star Game third baseman for like seven years like 100 percent, 100 percent. good pack brian mccartan this is so fun every time we do it i just will never get enough of this 
I'm gonna I'm gonna mail you the uh, gum, okay? If you want oh. it, I'll I'll send it to the mail. Just to give you an idea, kids, of what this sounds like. I'm gonna put it up to the mic here so you can hear it. But that is the audio of thirty year old gum. <laughs> Pretty. Sick. But the thing is, when it was three month old gum, it was the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. You're not getting me to eat that. No, you are definitely not doing that. Um, so fun. Thank you so much, Brian. I'll talk to you soon. All right, buddy. See you soon.